everyone. In this video, we are going to learn how we are able to perform transaction reconciliation in Microsoft Excel. First, let's see the overall picture, how this thing works. This is the overall picture, how the transaction reconciliation works. So basically, the, you can see the left data, it has a list of the transaction sorted by the date and it has the amount where it has a positive and negative amount. So what we need to do is to find the matching amount, the contra amount, the positive and negative of the same amount and break them down onto the list on the top right corner. So this is the list they have and on the bottom right corner, so that is the place where all the unmatched is there. So let's go through the logic how this thing works. So what you can see, first we want to get the ground ready. At first, we do not want to disturb the original data. So therefore, I want to make a copy of the raw data into unmatched. So this is presumption. Everything before matching, they are unmatched. So we will work from the unmatched data rather than work on the raw data. So after this copy, then let's go for the round one. In round one, we will start getting the first data or first number in this context is negative 1000. So the contra amount will be 1000 is the contra. So if we start searching, what you can see 50 is not equal to 1000, it will continue. Uh, 250 is not 1000. So it's search, ah, now you found it. So this is the pair where I have a 1000 and the negative 1000. So they are the pair. So we want to copy to the match. So the first one, first gen and negative 1000, you copy over and you will follow by the second one. After they have done the copying, so you want to remove them from the unmatched because they have been matched. So after it's done, and this is the final result for the round one. And after finishing of the round one, we want to continue to the round two. And this is the round two, similar method as well. You will get the first number, which is the 50, and you will find negative 50, on all the numbers beneath it. So it will just continue, continue, and continue. One is found in, and this is the matching, and this is the two pair, and this it, and this is the pair. We want to copy to the match result as well. So you can see it's copy for the first one and copy the second one. So after copying, we want to remove them from the unmatched list. So after remove, and this is the end result for the round two and the process continue until it hits the end of the list. Now let's go to the actual VB and see how this thing works. I'll be walking through in the slow motion so that you're able to see the logic behind. It's something similar with what we explained just now. Yes, this is the screen where you can see the data on the left is uh, A and B is the actual data, the raw data, and where the E until H is the match data and K and L is unmatched data. So we will go through the first cycle and while we are going through the code, you can see the code, how this thing works. If you want to copy, you are feel free to pause the video and see how this thing works. I'll be walking slowly and see how it works. First, we will start from the recon transaction module. And I'm pressing F8 to run in slow motion. First, I will turn off the screen updating and make the cursor into busy hourglass into wait and the last match means the last position for the record is row number two so i say number two so after that i want to clear off the previous result because the user could run multiple times on the different raw data so you go through and start cleaning off the result clear clear and now the match and unmatch the result is cleared and now I want to make a copy of the raw data into a match. You can see it's copied. After that, it will go to the starting position in K2 where it's indicating of the unmatched data. So it starts looping until it hits the end of the list. Based on the negative 1000, it starts looking for the unmatched. It will start searching and once it found it, uh, it controls the amount first. And after you can see it start looking for the numbers. Once they found, it will return the row number. So the row number five, row number five is 1000, positive 1000. So that's the correct result. You will return the result. And as long as it found something, you will continue and you will copy the data. What you can see on the left side, 
you start copying yes first gen and negative 1000 and you will copy the match one yes for gen and, and positive 1000 after he's done you will remove the bottom one first because if let's say we remove the top one first everything the alignment the position will be different so you will remove from the bottom after remove from bottom and you will remove the top one the original one so it's done and increase the position to output the result to the next row so it's done so you will just continue and you will just go through the same cycle again yes and it will go and it will just continue as you can see the result it is happening on the screen at the same time yep so it's very good so now it's almost the end of the result so you can see the active side is moving to the 9th gen and now it's continue and now it's the last record because it's the last record there's nothing else to compare beneath it so therefore it will stop the looping this is checking as long as there's no other row beneath it so it will stop so you stop and will go to the starting uh, finishing position where it stands on the E1 it will just go back to E1 then after it's done it turn off the, the so-called the screen updating and make the cursor now the cursor is the hourglass inside Excel once I run this one it backs to normal and it will show the message done and when I press OK so that will be the end this whole thing is looks very simple and how we are able to use Excel and think a bit logically and we are able to automate this kind of a bit complex task using Excel and there are a lot more complication of the reconciliation logic and hope this one give you some idea how you are able to use Excel to speed up your work Hi, my name is Tai, your Excel Sifu from YXL My aim is help you to make friends with your data so that you are able to turn good data into great stories Take care and stay safe